advertisers are more creative with one religion because they think they can be and are not creative with another religion because they feel in the words of Mr. Alok Watts, Sartan se juda. I think that... That is what they are saying. Let's listen to him. About them. You know, let's the, listen to him. The problem is that we are sounding a bit like frogs in a well. Hmm. When the well is full of customers who are Hindus, most ads will be directed towards them because there is more of a market size by an overwhelming majority. By targeting... Advertising, I'm not talking criticism, advertising towards the Hindu community. That's one. As we've already heard, this is about Amir and not the ad. The reason why companies are not doing ads which may be provocative or creative towards the Muslim community is because that market is not large enough, simply not a large enough market. Third, in the West, as far as those markets are concerned, you will find multiple ads which poke fun at Christian religion and Christian leaders, saints, etc. Time to time, it comes up as a controversy, it runs for a while and then it vanishes. Does it harm us economically? The answer is no, it does not. What we have found out, and I've been on the board of the Advertising Standards Council hmm. and for the you know 200 plus clients that we look at in Perfect Relations, let me tell you that when you measure what is the impact of a negative troll attack on a particular company, it is less than negligible. The only reason is that a lot of corporates don't want to be in what is called a controversial space for too long. And they tend to avoid it. But otherwise, in terms of loss of consumer faith, or even if there is a boycott, let me tell you, the impact is negligible. 